Hey everyone, and welcome to Strategic Writing and Messaging. I'm Bill Sledzik, the course creator. That means I'm the person you can applaud or the one you can curse seven weeks down the road. I hope to earn a standing ovation from all of you. That's why I put on a nice sweater today and wore my favorite hat. I know it's a little strange, but the hat's part of the story, so stick with me. It's not easy to create a writing course for people who earn their living as writers, and many of you do just that. I won't preach clarity and conciseness in this class. You already get it. And since many of you do public relations work, I won't be asking you to write news releases or fact sheets. Besides, a good writer can learn that stuff in a week or two. Instead, we're going to focus on the most important skill in public relations, the skill of storytelling. Whereas PR professionals a decade ago did most of their communicating through the news media, today's professionals tell their stories directly to audiences through websites, blogs, social networks, and face-to-face -face events. The content we create, that is our stories, are consumed directly by our stakeholders, not filtered through media gatekeepers. And we do it largely through narrative. Now, let's get back to the hat. My hat has a story to tell, one about the brand and one about me. First, let's look at the brand. This is the authentic Tilly hat. It contains US-made broadcloth and British brass, but it's a product of Canadian persnicketiness. Wait, I think I deserve a medal for nailing persnicketiness on the first take, don't you? How do I know all this? The Tilly and Durables company puts part of its story right on the label inside the hat. I'd show it to you, but I'm having a really bad hair day, so let's cut to the slide instead. Here's what the label says. This is the Tilly hat the best outdoor hat in the world. It floats, it ties on, repels rain and mildew, won't shrink, and will be replaced free if it wears out. Yes, put it in your will. Bold talk for a goofy Canadian hat, eh? But it's all true. The Tilly is the best outdoor hat in the world. Can 20 million Canadians be wrong? Now, here's my story. I didn't buy this hat. I got it free when I returned a worn out Tilly that I found in a parking lot at Kent State back in 1997. Tilly replaced it, no questions asked. This Tilly has traveled with me on paddling trips from Maine to California and from Lake Superior to the Outer Banks. I never lost it because it floats. And it never blows off my head because it ties on. But you know, the Tilly product story is almost secondary to the stories Tilly owners tell on canoe and kayak forums, on Facebook and in the blogosphere. We Tilly owners are an intensely loyal bunch. And pretty smug, too, but you know, that's understandable. We do own the best outdoor hat in the world, after all. Like so many successful brands, Tilly has a special story, and it takes some real skill to tell it. But the real magic happens when passionate Tilly owners pass their stories along. The hat pretty much sells itself. In the next seven weeks, we'll explore storytelling through the writings of Annette Simmons, a professional storyteller who advises companies all over the world. Her book, The Story Factor, helps us understand storytelling at an emotional and a spiritual level. We'll also borrow some wisdom from Sally Hogshead in her 2010 book, Fascinate, Your Seven Triggers to Persuasion and Captivation. This book focuses on psychology and sociology of stories and how marketers use them to sell products and services and to change behaviors. While we won't be reading The Writer's Journey, we'll tap into the lessons and the ideas of its author. Christopher Vogler is a Hollywood script editor who spent much of his career working for Disney. Every script writer wannabe reads his book because it comes from a master storyteller of the big screen. We'll also read two chapters from Jack Hart's fine new book, Storycraft. From Jack, we'll learn how a veteran journalist and feature writer uses story to captivate audiences. All of these writers will tell you that great storytelling involves risk. So don't be afraid to take a few. I took a risk today by wearing this goofy hat and telling you all about it. Our final project for this course challenges you to develop a comprehensive storytelling strategy for an organization of your choice. So be thinking of an organization you want to focus on. And keep in mind that you'll be sharing your work with classmates. So be mindful of any privacy concerns that may exist. For more details, check the final project file on the website. So once again, welcome to Strategic Writing and Messaging. What do you say we start by sharing a bit of our own stories on the intro blogs?